up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to talk about Witch's Brew. Yankee Candles Witch's Brew. Now, last year, um, they had uh, Witch's Brew in this three wick right here. The year before that, they had Witch's Brew in uh, you know the same size, same diameter uh, candle for the three wicks. Um, I mean, they, they got other formats, you know, they got the two wick signatures, the, the single wick uh, apothecary style. Um, but we're just going to talk about three wicks today. So last year, there was uh, some complaints on these uh, larger diameter. Uh, these are about four and a half, four and a half inches wide. Um, there was complaints last year and the year before about trying to get it to pull out all the way. About how far those uh, those wicks had to be spaced apart. Um, I do admit I had to burn one, and um, yeah, it, it didn't really pull out fully. You know, you had to burn it for a long time to get that uh, to get that pull all the way up. So this year they had changed the diameter. You know the the width of uh, the width of the candle. And it's more of a, like a Bath and Body Works Goose Creek three wick uh, style jar. It's exactly the same size as a Bath and Body Works 14 and a half ounces. Like here's a spooky moon teeny just came in yesterday. Exact same size. 14 and a half ounces, a little bit over three and a half inches, uh, three and a half inches wide. Three wicks. I got two of these. Um, tomorrow, if you're a fragrance reward member, um, the Halloween collection should be available, um, tomorrow on August 1st. If you are not, then the whole Halloween collection will be available August 3rd, I believe. Um, so I looked on the website oh, about a week and a half ago, maybe a week. And I noticed they had uh, three of the Halloween three wicks that were available already. They had a uh, banana toffee, uh, blood orange pumpkin, and they had witch's brew in the three wick. So I ordered them, and here they are. I believe these are retailing for $24.99 this year. I think I got these on a sale, though, to be honest with you. I don't remember, but anyways, I did burn, um, I ordered two of these, you know, just to test them, see how they were going to do, and, uh, I did burn one yesterday, I got two burns on this, two four-hour burns, and, um, to be honest with you, the first burn, I did have a little bit of trouble with the wicks, they, uh, they kind of died out a little bit after two hours, you know, about after two hours, they, uh, they were just weak wicks, um, by two hours, I was almost at a full wax pool, you know, so it didn't really affect it too much. Um, if they would have died out before, you know, it had fully pulled out, yeah, that it could have caused a problem in the tunnel, all that junk. But, um, yeah. And Witch's Brew has really, really never been a thrower. Ever. Um, I was hoping that this uh, smaller diameter, you know, would throw a little bit better than the three wicks from last year or the year before. Um, you know, since it would probably get a fuller pool, you know, than the, the larger diameter. And um, as far as performance and uh, throw wise, I couldn't really tell the difference. Um, on cold, I did notice that the, the wider candles from last year and the year before do smell a little bit more potent than uh, the new three and a half. Um, it, it just could be the, the wax. Uh, just because these are newer, maybe that one got sit longer. You know, maybe it smells different. Um, see, I burned this the first time in my living room. Um, normally, if I turn the fan on, you know, like on a low setting, you know, the ceiling fan, um, it's kind of a, I have like two living rooms, um, 
but this one is kind of like a smaller living room and um, usually that's where I could get the best uh, central in that room um, I could barely smell it I could barely smell it in there on the first burn uh, second burn I did in my bedroom last night um, again you know it's it's, it's just not a, a strong scent um, I could barely smell it again around the fourth hour you know, right before I hit four hours right before I went to bed I did notice uh, a little bit of witch's brew scent in the air um, that was on the second on the second burn eight hours in so I mean with the three wick candle I mean, you, you should get more um, Centro than what I got on it. I'd say it's about a four, maybe a four and a half. Once it, uh, you know, once it gets going, you know, three, four hours in the burn, you know. Um, all the scent notes in here, they're not throwers. You know, the the notes that are in here, which make Witch's Brew so good. Um, none of them are really throwers. Uh, clove is one of the prominent notes in there. Um, clove is hard to, to perform, you know, hard to throw. Um, in my experience, um, the ones that actually smell like real clove, you know, the fragrance oils that, you know, kind of mimic the real thing, they're weak. Now, you could get one that's, uh, you know, like artificial smelling. And yeah, you might get some throw off of that. But, uh, yeah, it ain't going to smell good. Uh, same thing with patchouli. You know, I'd say Witch's Brew is like a medium dirty patchouli. Um, the really good patchoulis, um, the ones that smell good, you know, to me, anyway, are like the light and the medium patchoulis. The darker patchoulis, you could get a little bit of throw off of that. You get a little performance off of that. But then again, you know, it wouldn't be Witch's Brew. And then the other notes... Um, Cinnamon, yeah, that's a tough one to get throw on, and vanilla as well. So, like all the scents in here, you know, the woodsy, patchouli, um, jasmine. I mean, that one can throw. Um, but if you put too much jasmine in here, it's not going to smell like witch's brew at all. Um, but yeah, woodsy, patchouli, vanilla, cinnamon, and a little bit of jasmine. Yeah, so 99% of the fragrance oils in Witch's Brew are just not performers. But that doesn't change the fact that this scent is amazing. Yes. Witch's Brew has always been one of my favorite candles of all time. Even though it's not a thrower, I still buy multiple of these every year. Um, if you have a smaller room, um, yeah, pick it up. You might like it, especially if you got a sensitive nose. Um, if you got a larger room, I don't know. Um, might want to get a couple of the centerpiece systems and put a couple of the, the mail cups on. I hope the mail cups come back this year, hopefully. Um, last year, I got the scent plug. That actually did pretty decent, you know, in the bathroom. Uh, those are actually online right now as well. So, yeah, they got three of these... Uh, Three of the Halloween three wicks available right now. Tomorrow, I'm hoping the whole collection is available for the fragrance reward members. We shall see. But yeah, the the scent notes in Witch's Brew, um, they're some of my favorites. You know, just generally my favorites. Uh, patchouli, I do love patchouli as long as it's not too dark. Um, and then there's sometimes I do crave the dark patchouli. Most of the time, I, I like the, the medium, you know, like in Witch's Brew. Uh, clove, absolutely love clove. If I could find just a realistic clove fragrance oil, I, I would just put that in a candle. I don't need to put anything else in it. I absolutely love the smell of clove. It's just tough to get a, you know, performance and throw off of a clove fragrance oil. Um, and woodsy, yeah. I, I love wood notes, especially smoky notes. None in here, but uh, yeah, you can pick up the wood and a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of vanilla, um, just to sweeten it up just a little bit. But yeah, Witch's Brew is amazing.
I'm gonna check out my uh, coffee cups. Got this little guy from uh, Hobby Lobby. I just look right now, they're out of stock. But yeah, little peanuts cup, Hobby Lobby, six fifty. I had some uh, other candles coming yesterday from uh, Bath and Body Works. Want to see uh, see how some of those perform? Also, real quick, this came in. Uh, I ordered this one with uh, the Witch's Brews. Afternoon scrapbooking. Yeah, I wasn't able to get this one in the in the milk cup. <sighs> Had high hopes for this one. It's like a it's like a faint warm leather. A little bit of apple and amber. It's not horrible. It's not great. And it could almost, almost start leaning into the direction of a uh, cologne. Yeah, but I mean, it's better than all the other fall candles Yankee came out with this year. Anyway, maybe tomorrow, maybe a couple days, I'll have the Bath and Body Works review for the other uh, Halloween candles and fall candles I order. I actually like this one. Anyways, thanks for watching.